identify unique designs. Today I'll be demoing how to thread uh, <clears throat> an Osborne Viking sewing machine. So uh, recently I was asked how to demo, how to <laughs> thread an Osborne Viking sewing machine, the Osborne Viking 20 to be specific, which I happen to own, and the Brother sewing machine. So for today's demo, I'll be demoing how to thread the Osborne Viking 20. So I own an Osborne Viking 20 and I've had this sewing machine since 2009. It was a birthday present from my husband. I really, really, really love this sewing machine. Recently, I went to get an upgrade. And as you can see, I still have my Osquana Viking 20. I love this machine because I'm familiar with it. It's, we've been together so long. I, it know, I know all its little nuances, all the little tricks to, to make it go. And it keeps going. <clears throat> These machines are very durable. They're sturdy. They're good sewing machines. So to thread your sewing machine, you're going to need spool of thread and a bobbin. So I'm going to start off with doing the upper threading. So you have your thread spool holder, your upper loopers, and your lower looper, and your needle. So you're going to put thread on the spool, and we're going to start with this top looper. You go down, that's one, and it come down to this one, two, back up, and behind here, three, down through this first groove, four, up through this next groove, five. At the top of this groove, if you can't see it, you can turn your wheel, you'll see a hook. You're going to hook into that one and come back down. Six, and then you're going to attach it to your loop that's attached to your sewing needle, seven. And then you're gonna go through your, your needle. For me personally, I prefer to thread by hand, even though the machine is equipped with a needle threader. Now, for your bobbin, if you bobbin, I have a pre-wound bobbin. If you don't, this is where you would do your bobbin. So what you do is you would Wound, wind the thread onto your bobbin. You pull it across, put it in this little groove, attach it to the winder, and push it over here. At this point, what will happen is the sewing machine will be disengaged, so you won't have to worry about your needle. Once you pull it back, then it's engaged again. There's a, a thread cutter here, cut, and then back to finishing, completing the threading off your sewing machine. For these sewing machine, some sewing machines have a side needle, a side, the needle goes to the side when it goes in for the Viking, it goes to the front. So you're gonna thread your needle front to back. And then you're gonna pull the thread tail and put it to the side. Now you have your wound, your pre-wound bobbin. On the Os original Osquarna Viking, you'll see the Osquarna symbol, which is the H and the crown. Now, to get <clears throat> one that's a little bit more affordable, you can get these on Amazon. The ones on Amazon has a D on the top. For either one you use, you're going to drop it in, which for these sewing machine, it is a drop-in bobbin. You're going to drop it in, with the symbol facing up, drop in. There is an inner hook or groove right to the front. You're gonna do that on the metal casing of the bobbin. Pull it to the back. There's a plastic hook. You're gonna do that one and the arrow will show you and you come right back down to this hook in the front and slide your casing back on. Now, this is something I like to do personally. So I hold the tail of the thread I turn my need my my wheel for one complete rotation. When the needle comes back up, I pull on the thread, and what it does is it pulls out the bottom. Slide it under your hook, and voila, you're ready to sew. All right, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the icon so you can get updates for new videos. Thank you for watching. One love.